crossfade to black. Not yet. It's, we have to go through the credits first, dude. Come on. Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and uh, there's a box here. What's this? Oh, Octo Layered LS. Uh, and uh, Studio Octophone. Neat. Cool. Uh, hey, I'm going to guess that I got those for getting the Octo expansion because that's what we're doing today. Uh, also, we're in a interesting spot here where uh, <laughs> I actually don't know where this when this episode's going to come out because there's a chance that I'm actually playing or uploading episodes of Splatoon 3 before this, but I'm actually recording this before that because, you know, I wanted I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, actually. <laughs> well, I guess that probably doesn't come as a surprise to most of you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing for uploads between, you know, I, I finished Splatoon 2. Right. And then I was like, OK, I want to play both the Octo expansion and Splatoon 3. But Splatoon 3 is coming out right as I'm finishing Splatoon 2. So, yeah, I, I, I essentially left it up to, you know, people watching to s tell me like, hey, do you want to do, do you want Splatoon 3 or Octo expansion next? So I'm kind of hedging my bets right now and recording at least this one batch of Octo expansion now before Splatoon 3 comes out. It comes out tomorrow as of this recording. Uh, so I guess to, to date it. But hey, there's a chance that I actually don't upload this till like a long time after <laughs> I, uh, I finished playing Splatoon 2 or the main campaign, I should say. Uh, and hey, what do you who, who knows? The channel could even be uh, significantly changed by the time this goes up, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So, you know, there, there might be a little bit of mismatch if there is, um, you know, if I, if I change something significant and it, between, uh, between now and then, then, you know, it's, it's that, that, that's why if this episode looks a little different than the episode before it, then yeah, you know, that's why. Anyway, let's listen closely. Would you like to enter a story that echoes from deep underground? Yes, please. I just, I felt like I needed to get that little explanation out of the way, just in case, right? Hedging my bets again. So let's get into the Octo expansion. Mm. Bad time to say it, because pale summer moonlight shimmers on the sea, sea floor, an octopus unaware that dawn will bring capture rests within a trap, dreaming fleeting dreams. Interesting. Okay, maybe I turn it down a little bit. I did turn up the, uh, the, the volume for me because I realized oh, Oi, Octoling, up and at him, you lazy wiffle waffle. But just 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 a sec, I was trying to explain something. Yeah, I turned up the volume for me because I realized I was just editing the last episode of Splatoon 2 and I realized that they were doing cool things with the music that I couldn't hear while I was playing. So I did turn up the volume a little bit for me. Uh, you should be able to hear it in the episode, but Anyway, hey, it's Captain Cuttlefish. This fight ain't over. Prepare for a royal whooping. But there's no honor in defeating an unarmed opponent. And you seem to have lost your weapon somewhere around here. And even the old man has headphones. <laughs> what is that? And just where is here, anyway? Last thing I remember, you were battling my protege, Agent 3, in Octo Valley, when both of you were suddenly attacked by someone. Hmm. So I was battling me. Because I was also Agent 3 in the first game. <laughs> and somehow we got marooned here. So, uh, how about we call a temporary truce while we find a way to escape? But where are my manners? I haven't even told you my name. I know you. I'm Captain Cuttlefish, leader of the legendary new Squidbeaks platoon. Well, not right now because you're not there. So Marie was the leader, but she was also like the only member aside from me. Also Agent 4. <laughs> so... And you are? This is the part where you tell me your name. By Kraken, you lost your memory when you hit the ground? You can't remember anything about yourself? Anything at all? Ah, uh, yes. Good old amnesia. What a wonderful trope. I am girl. My skin is pale as fuck. <laughs> My hair is 
I like this better. My eyes are I always like the blue, even though it's not really accurate to my actual eyes. Uh, yeah, this is me. Most interesting. I noticed you were humming the calamari incantation right before you came too. Could it be? Has this heavenly melody been etched into your very soul? I'll take your stun silence as a yes. Again, they <laughs> they address the fact that your character doesn't talk. <laughs> I've heard of Octarians whose souls were etched by those squid-tastic grooves. But that was a couple of years back during Agent 3's battle with D DJ Octavio. Still, I can't check the feeling that this is related somehow. In any case, sorry for sicking Agent 3 on you back there. Any fan of the Squid Sisters is a friend of mine. I mean that with all my hearts. Do squids have multiple hearts? I guess they must, otherwise that would make no sense. Now dust yourself off and find your land legs. We need to get moving. Let's find a way out of here. Okay, I really, I really dig. I really dig the look. This is a cool look. I dig it. Uh, anyway, also the tank on the back, that it's different, it looks cool. Yeah. Not much going on here. How about heading up the ramp? This place looks abandoned. Agent 3 and I have been keeping vigilant watch over Octo Valley, except that you weren't because um, you were gone and then Cal and then Callie went to check things out and left Marie on her own and then she got Callie got hypnotized and <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I, I I would not say you've been keeping good watch over Octo Valley. <laughs> Ooh, do I get to play as the pink ink now? <gasps> yeah. I, this is my ink now. That's crazy. Been fighting pink ink this whole time. Uh, I wonder, does that mean we don't change colors in this version? It's kind of weird to change the color of a Octarian's ink. But I guess that maybe happens in the multiplayer. I don't know. Devilfish is this place. I don't know. It's an Octarian vault. Do you need a key to open it? Yeah. Sure this place doesn't look familiar? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Splattershot Jr. and Splat Bomb. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, this has a wide range. All right. This seems like a this seems, this seems like a like a less accurate version of the hero shot. Like a wider spray is actually maybe good in terms of this game because you know you, you ink a wider area, you know there's less overlap between your shots. I don't know. I do enjoy that the rate of fire is faster than the hero shot was in the story mode at least. I don't know if any of these balloons are actually going to give me anything, but I wonder, I wonder if maybe it kept my, uh, upgrades from the, 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 the base story mode. I don't know. She and I. Ah. All right. Um, grab link. Yeah, I can, I can shoot that, I suppose. Nice. Okay. Uh, I still want to shoot stuff though. There's a lot of stuff left here, but just kind of, just kind of hit. How am I supposed to hit that? Yeah. Truly, I do enjoy this game, and honestly, like I thought about, I thought about going back to a different game. Um, uh, yeah, look, I'll, I'll, I'll name it. I, I, <laughs> I already dated the episode, so uh, <laughs> I thought about going back to Ruin King um, instead of 
instead of playing this. I'm just kind of like seeing what people, seeing if I can get any comments, what the comments might say, and you know, recording Ruin King as the backup. But I was like, you know, I was when I was watching the Splatoon uh, 2 finale and just just to edit it, of course, I was like, you know what? This this it's, it's it's just so fun to watch. It's hard not to want to play it too. Okay, did I get everything? I did get everything. Okay, I don't know why I'm just running around right now. Octoling, Octaria, Octolings look a little different than, uh, oh, okay, I guess I don't get to have that anymore. Uh, I was saying that they, uh, look a little different when they're in swim form. I guess that's what it's called. This looks a little sketchy, but you're gonna have to check it out. Yep. I mean, there's really no other way to go, so... Yeah, that makes sense. Well, we found a way out. Did we? Kind of still seems like we're stuck in a subway. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Just randomly pressing buttons because I can. What is this? They have highlighted it. Searching for user ID, user 1000, or er, 10,008 confirmed. 100008. Hmm. Greetings. No, it's 10,008. Your current location is Deep Sea Metro Central Station. The primary function is to facilitate your journey to the Promised Land. Please to make your acquaintance. Assessing communication efficiency, efficiency 12.42%, enabling contemporary speech mode. What is crack a lacking, home skillet? Let us bounce to the promised land for show. Oh no. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> I'm about it, about it. So listen while I slang not found you the facts. You've spent your entire life in the dark. Your eyes closed to the new hotness that awaits. The promised land, a utopia of light beyond your wildest dreams. It is all that a bat, all that in a bag of cool beans. I will take you to the promised land now. Not. Haha, <laughs> psych out. Only cats who have proven themselves can err the promised land. You dig, dog? There have been 10,007 applicants so far, which makes you applicant 10,008. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, yo. Good luck and slag not found. This is a deep sea metro central station, the Relio Delio central hub of the facility. Here's your CQ80 and CQ card. They're so bad. <laughs> oh no. It's bad as your <laughs> flying. Guard them with your life, L Liz Ive. <laughs> because if you lose them, you'll be error. Dead. He's, he meant dead. Now come ride the train, Audi 5000. Ugh. Applicant 10,008, huh, eh? That's a big fool. I think I'll just call you Agent 8. What happened to 5 through 7? <laughs> this promised land must be the surface. I wonder how deep underground we are. There's no time to waste. I think it said we were under sea. Oh, anyway, come on, Agent 8. Grab those new dealy doos and get moving. So I'm not your agent. What is this? Subway. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Well, I guess we'll uh, figure out what the dealy do is with this next time. Cause uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap.
Why are you swaying? 